Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location, you are tuned to this uh, UAAG grant disbursement update. We are counting down for disbursement. The month is already ended. Today is 29th, tomorrow is 30th, next tomorrow is 31st. So we have counted March has gone. This month, a lot of things have transpired. A lot of things have happened. But of recent, last week, the peak, what makes people talking, what has made people to be talking, is this broadcast, Ken Wakama did. You know, he has wisely come out to 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 kind of create a, some people will say propaganda to the media space. And he has gone to, to television to make a broadcast. And that broadcast, he has given his own point of view, which many people are saying that that point of view is, a, is not really the true story. He's saying that he did not collect money from people. A lot of people have now started coming out to start saying how they, he collected money from them. True. Now, he played his game so well that directly he didn't collect money from too many people but indirectly he sent his ms3s to collect money and those his ms3s that he has sent to collect money are now lamenting some say they gave him 40 million some say they gave him 400 thousand some say they gave him 50 million a lot of people are still coming out and saying all those money we you said we should go and collect and we forwarded it to you what happened you say he did not collect the money and it's only hundred thousand you collected from ngos you know this is really a sharp move so they are feeling that man this wakama has betrayed them so i want you to just see the broadcast this is the broadcast that he made wisely see at the other end subscribe Stay tuned to Dr. Our Ken Nwakama is the country director of United African Alliance Grant, UAAG. He said the press briefing became necessary to address the spurious and unfounded allegations that the long-awaited grant meant for beneficiaries had been released. My assignment is to get this money, give to the people. As we are speaking now, the money has not dropped. But there are so many enemies who just feel that God should take permission from them before appointing me to do this service. They are very angry, trying to blackmail me from different angles. He also called on the general public to disregard the rumors that the grant had been diverted to personal use. They've been blackmailing me everywhere, here and there. All my children are abroad. I've sent all, you saw all of them. They are here. No one has gone apart from those in school. They blackmail me that are, are money that come from uh, verification. I, I bought four houses in Guarimpa. I wonder how much the money houses are sold in Guarimpa. That you can buy four with 400 million, according to them. So all these things are blackmailing. Some members of UAAG also had this to say. There's been a lot of rumor on that, um, accusing uh, the country director of uh, collecting money from people, which is not true. Um, when UAG began operation, uh, it was declared free and all of us applied um, and it's for free. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, as at this very hour we are talking right now, the grant, this money has not arrived in the account of the organization right now. Uh, you see, people have become desperate because of the situation in the country today. Apostle Ken expressed the hope that soon enough the grant would be released. I think this is a fast game because uh, some pressure groups were moving for press conference and press briefing. So he kind of beat them to the game by doing it first and creating a, a media propaganda. So what is really taking advantage of, I think, in my own view, this is my personal view, this is my personal view, that is taking advantage of the coerced nature of the grant community because grant community have only two heads one supposed to be all prior all grand pressure group as uh, the minority opposing sector then uaag as the main one now all grand pressure group have been cohorted into uaag so there is no longer antagonistic uh, view from all grand pressure group so all of them are now speaking like let's say let's presume in one voice though inside they antagonize each other but outwardly they come out and say things. Though some that don't say things like German machine, he doesn't talk much because 
he's not in consonance with what is happening but he's saying let me just not speak let this buzzment happen but he's being used then uh, madame jennifer he's also being used to 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 perpetuate uh, propaganda to tell the beneficiaries lies then um, uh, what is it called uh, chief okogu is used as a pawn then uh, uh, what is it called um, uh, all stars that I hold is is an aggrieved man that wants to pull out but he can't pull out because he's a small man in the in the in the gathering and is less influential in the gathering because also that old is not really wealthy you know so they are taking advantage of all these scenario so this is my personal thought anyway this is my personal thought so to remedy this is is really very not too easy because finding a body a unifying body gathering all the beneficiaries to to be an on to be under one umbrella is not too easy so guys drop your comment and your opinion me i'm not afraid to end my opinion because this thing is taking too long if you are not embittered you better you know one thing now that is making this thing to too much linger is because there's fear people are not talking people are saying some people even castigate me for speaking out my own mind why because this fear gives them power if the beneficiaries from all angles speak out their mind they will be fear why they are so complacent is because the beneficiaries are even afraid to speak. So anyway, this is my view and this is my own contribution to to air for this ground to be to be to be to be disbursed. So this is my own contribution. So you can also make your contribution in 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 a civil way you can. Drop your comment, go to social media and see see the people now, see the people that came out, see the people that came out to to kind of uh, uh, give a fake a fake testimony that he did not collect money. These are his allies. These are his allies. So guys, drop a comment in the description. Let's pray. Let's pray. See them. These are his allies. Simeon. These are his allies. You know. Let's pray that this disbursement uh, reaches us and um, and. Uh, we 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 get the, the the money no matter how small but let this 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 perpetuation of uh of misdeeds stop let it stop so guys see you on the other end dr ken Nwakama is the country director of united african alliance grant uaag he said the press briefing became necessary to address the spurious and unfounded allegations that the long-awaited grant meant for beneficiaries had been released my assignment is to get this money give to the people as we are speaking now the money has not dropped but there are so many enemies who just feel that god should take permission from them before appointing me to do this service they are very angry trying to blackmail me from different angles he also called on the general public to disregard the rumors that the grant had been diverted to personal use. They've been blackmailing me everywhere, here and there. All my children are abroad. I've sent all, you saw all of them. They are here. No one has gone apart from those in school. They blackmail me that I, I money that comes from uh, verification. I, I bought four houses in Guarimpa. I wonder how much the money house are sold in Guarimpa that you can buy for with 400 million according to them. So all these things are blackmailing. Some members of UAAG also had this to say. There's been a lot of rumor on that um, accusing uh, the country director of uh, collecting money from people which is not true. Um, when UAG began operation uh, it was declared free and all of us applied um, and it's for free. Uh, to the best of my knowledge as at this very hour we are talking right now, the grant, this money has not arrived in the account of the organization right now. Uh, you see, people have become desperate because of the situation in the country today. Apostle Ken expressed the hope that soon enough the grant would be released. Organic Victor, ITV News.